Congratulations on acquiring your new Erconia laser and welcome to the Erconia family. We couldn't be more excited to get you started, so this video will act as a tutorial walking you through the basic setup and programming of your device, proper protocol and how to use the device on your patients, as well as some information about marketing the device and what to charge your patients for it. Now before we get started, I have two very important things that I'd like to discuss to ensure your success with your new Erconia laser. Number one is if you scan the QR code on the screen here or go to the comment section and click on the link, it will lead you directly to Erconia's online marketing portal as well as Physician Finder. I highly recommend you get registered for both. With the online marketing portal, it will give you a slew of marketing materials both digitally and print so you can market the device inside of your office, outside of your office, and on your website. As well, you can register for the online Physician Finder. Erconia has set up a physician finder on our website at erconia.com where you can click find a provider, type in a zip code, and it will give all providers that are certified with the Erconia laser within that area. This is meant specifically to drive patients to your clinic. So once you register, you'll put your clinic's information, best contact telephone number, email address, and website. So that if a patient in your area is looking to receive Erconia laser treatment through the B2C marketing that Erconia does, they will then click on that, type in their zip code, and then ultimately receive your contact information. Number two is now that you've purchased the Erconia laser, you have access to one free Erconia CE accredited educational seminar. We host these seminars nationwide throughout the entire year regionally. So you can click on the link in the comments or scan this QR code, which will lead you directly to the page to view these events. If there is not a regional event within your area, you can also look at the live stream seminars that we have strategically set up throughout the nation and throughout the year. These live stream seminars you can view from the convenience of your home or office while still viewing the live seminar which is happening regionally so you can see the hands-on workshop and learn from the physicians on how to properly use your Erconia laser. Now that we've gone through that, let's get started and now we're gonna go into the programming of the Erconia device which will have a digital portion to show you exactly how it's programmed. To power on, hold the button for three seconds. The device will take about 30 seconds to initialize. At first startup, enter the default passcode 1234. The main home screen has four touch buttons. Let's start with settings. The About screen contains basic information about the device, and if you scroll over, it will show information about the various device protocols. Contact Support will show Erconia contact information. Let's take a look at the personalization mode. Sound will allow us to adjust the volume up, down, or toggle it on and off. To change the passcode, first enter the current passcode and press Enter. Then input the new passcode and press enter. Re-input the new passcode again and press enter. The device passcode is now changed. You can also personalize your laser by naming it. Input the desired name and now the home screen will display the new name. Quick Start is for manually starting one-off protocols that will not be saved into the device. Interconia laser protocol consists of four frequency numbers, two per laser diode. To demonstrate, we'll pick four random frequencies. The first screen will ask for frequency one for laser A. Let's input two. Then it will ask to enter frequency two for laser A. Let's input four. Then it will ask for frequency one for laser B. Let's do a frequency of 10. Then it will ask for frequency two for laser B. Let's do a frequency of 20. Next, it will ask for treatment time length. Let's do five minutes. At the top of the screen, you'll see what we just entered. Hit start and you can see our protocol in action. Laser A on the left side is going to blink two times per second for two seconds straight, then four times per second for two seconds straight. Laser B will blink 10 times per second for two seconds straight then we'll blink 20 times per second for two seconds. If you purchase the linear and nonlinear upgrade, that will be located on the bottom right here. Linear mode will alternate between the frequencies in a linear fashion. 
Nonlinear mode will alternate between the frequencies in a random fashion. Next, let's take a look at the preset protocols. This will list all the protocols that have been FDA cleared to be treated with this device. To run a protocol, simply touch it and press the green button. Then press the green start button and the lasers will initialize. Just like in the other mode, we can pause, resume, and stop. Let's hit the home button, and next we'll look at the user protocols mode. This is where you would enter protocols into your device and save them. To start, press the plus button and we'll name our protocol pane. Next, we'll enter our frequencies. Let's use 9, 16, 42, and 53 in a treatment time of 5 minutes. It has now been saved. To use, click on it and press the green button to access the protocol, and then the start button to begin treatment. You can also favorite protocols as you use them by pressing the favorite button. To access favorites, click the star on the top right. To edit protocols, click on a protocol and click on the orange edit button. To delete protocols, click on a protocol and click the delete button. To power down the device, hold the power button and select power down. So now that you know how to program your Arconia laser and you know where to get the protocols from, let's talk a little bit about the actual protocol and the number of treatments and how often we're doing those treatments. So treatments will range anywhere between six all the way up to 12 treatments on average. On the lower end of the spectrum, between six to eight treatments is what you'll do for your acute patients or your very minor chronic patients. On the higher end of the spectrum, between 10 to 12 treatments is what you will do for your chronic patients or your very severe acute patients. You as the physician have to determine the number of treatments. That just gives you a range to use as a guideline. Now do keep in mind that the younger and healthier the patient is, typically their body responds quicker to the photonic energy, so they may need less treatments. The more elderly or unhealthy the patient is, they may need more treatments, so you have to keep that in mind when you're setting up your treatment protocol. Next, let's talk about how often we're doing these treatments. Now, laser therapy is accumulative. And what I mean by that is your patient will benefit from 10 treatments, whether it's once a day for 10 days straight or once a week for 10 weeks straight. However, we recommend being progressive with the treatment and getting them in there as soon as possible or as quickly as possible for those treatments so that their body heals in a quicker amount of time because they're getting more doses of laser therapy in a shorter amount of time. So if you can get them in once a day for 10 days straight, great. However, we understand scheduling may not permit that to happen between your schedule and the patient's schedule. So if you can get them in there two or three days a week throughout the entire treatment protocol, there's a fantastic protocol to follow. So next, let's talk a little bit about how to maintain your Arconia laser. The great thing about the Arconia device is it does not require any type of annual calibration or maintenance. However, there's a few things you can do to ensure the long-term success of your device. Number one, let's talk about the charging. As you know, after receiving your device, we have the wireless charging base, as well as a charger cord that plugs directly into your wall. So you would simply plug the charger into the wall, and then the other end of that charger into the wireless charging base. To charge your device, you simply place it inside of the wireless charging dock, and it will charge from there. We recommend that anytime you're not using the device actively, that you set it in the charging base so it is always charged up for you. However, the device will last anywhere between a two to six hour period, depending on how often you're using it, on one single charge. So with that, you should be able to take the device home if you wanna use it for the evening on family members or what have you. But with the device, anytime you're not using it, simply place it in that charging base. Next thing is the laser diodes themselves. So where the light actually comes out of the device, that may need to be cleaned over time because you will get skin particles if you're touching it on the patient's skin. You'll get dust and debris inside of there from sitting in your office over time. So how to clean the laser diodes is very simple. You'll take a Q-tip, dip it in rubbing or isopropyl alcohol, swish it around and clean the diode lens, then use the other side of the Q-tip, the dry side, to get the condensation from the rubbing alcohol out of there after the fact. You'll know that the diodes need to be clean, the lines will not be crisp and clear, 
they may be foggy or may have a dirty look to them, that is when you'll clean your laser diodes. As good practice, I would recommend doing it one time per month. Next, let's discuss how to properly treat your patient with your new device. First, let's talk about the distance from the skin. You'll notice with your Arconia laser, when you turn it on, that we have line-generated beams. These are patented and only the Arconia laser has them, but it also acts as a distance guide for how far away from the skin you want to be. The smaller the body part, the closer we get to the skin, because the closer you are, the smaller that line-generated beam becomes. The further you pull it out, the larger that line-generated beam becomes. For instance, if I'm treating my finger, I'm going to take the laser and put it directly on my finger so I get maximum photonic exposure right on that area. If I'm treating Sarah's entire arm here, I'm going to be about six to eight inches away from the arm so that I'm getting the entire arm with that laser beam. If I'm treating a larger area, let's say I'm treating across my entire abdomen here, I would take the laser, pull it out, and wave it back and forth so that I'm treating that entire area. But if it is a small area, you do not have to wave it back and forth. You can simply place it and let it rest. Now let's talk about how to make your treatment better and optimize results. There's three different ways that you can use your Arconia laser. Number one is simple, it's point and shoot. You simply take the laser and you point it and shoot it at the area you're looking to treat. That's good. Number two, which is better, is point and shoot with motion. So if I do point and shoot and have my patient, Sarah, if you would, do some arm raises for me. While the laser is going, we're getting blood flow to the area, getting those muscles to fire, and it will lead to better patient outcomes. That's number two, and that's better. Now number three, which is best, is point and shoot, like we're doing, add motion, please, and resistance. So if I simply added resistance to her arm raises here, it's getting those muscles to fire even more, leading to better patient outcomes. Whether you're using a resistance band that you have tied to the bottom of the chair and on her wrist, a weight or your physical arm to hold her down and add resistance, you can use any one of those methods. Now you can make this a completely hands-free modality if you have the Arconia laser stand. It simply clicks right in to the stand. We can press start, point it on the area we're looking to treat, and follow the exact same methods. So point and shoot, we can have our patient add resistance, and we can even tie a resistance band once again to the bottom of the chair and on her wrist, and add resistance to that as well, making this a completely hands-free modality. Next, let's talk about the treatment pricing to your patients. You've invested in your Konya laser device, now you need to get your return on the investment, and these are a few strategic ways in which you can do so. There's two different ways that physicians like to charge for laser treatments in their office. And first, let's talk about treatment package. So this is bundling a number of treatments for your patient and getting that money up front for an entire package. The national average for a single handheld Arconia laser treatment is $30 per session. Now, to keep the math simple, let's say Sarah comes into your office and you wanna treat her for 10 laser treatments because of the severity of her condition after your consultation with her. So you would say, hey Sarah, the going rate for an Arconia laser treatment is $30 per treatment. You can come in my office each time and pay that $30. But if you like, I can set you up with a treatment package because I recommend 10 laser treatments. So instead of paying $300 for those 10 treatments, I'm going to give you a discount of $25, so it'll be $275. This incentivizes Sarah, when she's coming into your office, to not only pay for the treatment package up front, which gets you your money up front, which is always a good thing, but as well, it also keeps Sarah committed to coming back to the scheduled visits. We know, and according to the clinical studies that we've done, if the patient stays on the protocol that you've set up and goes through the entire treatment regimen, they will see very good results. The worst thing that could happen is to have a patient come into your office, not see results after the first treatment, because it does take a few treatments for the results to start happening, and then she does not come back and pay for those remaining treatments. So treatment package pricing is one of the better ways to do it. Another way that some physicians prefer to do it is to include laser therapy with every single patient. For the physicians out there that like to do an overall office visit, include all of their services in, they would just simply include laser therapy within their service or within their office visit. And how you get your return on investment is you simply raise your office visit up by an additional five or $10. And then every time that patient comes into the office, 
laser therapy will be included with their office visit and with the other treatments and modalities that you're doing in your office. If you do this and expand it upon each individual patient, let's say you're trading 30 to 40 patients per day, and you raise your office visit by an additional $5, as you can see, your return on investment will happen very quickly. Now you may have those patients that'll come in and say, hey, you raised your office visit up by $5, and they may be upset. But if you simply explain to them, well, yes, now I'm including an FDA clear device that's gonna substantially help with your health, and it's only an additional $5 every time you come in, typically you can get over that hurdle very easily. Now, let's talk a little bit about marketing. As I mentioned earlier on in this tutorial, we have an online marketing portal set up specifically to help you market the device inside of your office, outside of your office, and on your website. Keep in mind some of the simple things that you can do. Number one, if you have a website, which if you don't, we strongly recommend you add one, is simply take the materials that we have in this marketing portal and add some information about the device. In your services tab, add it as a new added service that you have and we have all of the materials, stock images of the device itself, as well as what the device does. So you can simply take that information and put it on your website so your patients know specifically what the device does and how it works. It makes it an easy sell so when they're coming into your office, as you know, the majority of patients will go to your website first. So when they come into your office, they can see that you now offer this FDA clear technology, which will help them with their pain management issues. We have banners and patient materials on our online marketing portal. We recommend taking those materials and printing them out, or you can order them directly from us and we can ship them to you of patient brochures. You can simply lay this in your office on your waiting room table and interested parties can look at this brochure and see that you now offer this technology. Let's say they're coming in for back pain, but they don't realize that this helps with neck pain as well. So you can add this service to their office visit, ultimately increasing your return on investment. We also have banners and poster templates that you can print or order directly from us to add additional materials around your office. Also, we have um, social media templates where you can market the device on your social media platforms, which I highly recommend you do so. In today's day and age, that's where the majority of people go day to day to get their news and information. So if you add that material, letting them know that you now have an FDA clear technology, you'll be amazed at how many patients will call you and say, oh, I didn't know you had a device FDA cleared for neck pain or back pain or whatever the issue may be. So it's a great way to market the device and allow your patients to see that you now have this technology. Another thing is we have email templates that you can take and use and email to your database. We have press release kits. We have so much information and material in there and we're constantly updating it. This marketing portal is included with the purchase of your Arconia laser. You will never pay a dime for it and it is always being updated. So it's an added benefit to owning an Arconia laser device. In ending, I would like to just give you this piece of advice. The only dissatisfied Arconia laser provider I've ever seen in my entire life is the one that does not use their device because they're too afraid to use it. We have been manufacturing Arconia lasers since 1996. We've had zero reported side effects or adverse events. The device is extraordinarily safe and effective to use. You will see some miracles using the device in your office if you're using it as you're supposed to and following protocol. So use it on as many patients as possible. Use it on yourself, use it on your family members. As you start to gain confidence in using it and realize how safe this technology really is, it's gonna make it easier to educate your patients and speak with them about it. Thank you very much, and we are happy to welcome you to the Urconia Laser family.